terms, comments, and stories you're about to hear may not be suitable for some. Listener discretion advised. All right now, boys and girls, we want to introduce... Please allow me to adjust my pants. Woo, woo, woo. Listen. Run as fast as you can. I'm gonna give you what you need. Get ready for BAM Radio. Let me do it one more time. It's Radio BAM, fucking idiot. What the hell am I talking about? It's Radio BAM. And now, and now here's BAM. Here's BAM. <laughs> Yo, shit asses. Oh. What's up, man? Is Deco there yet? Yeah, he's here. All right, cool. So we got Deco, Raytheon, Shitbird, and who else is over there? It's Fresh. I'm from the shitter. I just crapped at Kmart. My, yeah, that's right. You got me. Tom Rock's here. Took a shit at Kmart? They fixed their other stall. Exit Kmart now has two working crappers. <laughs> well, I'm in uh, Palm Springs right now in the desert. I bet they got a nice Kmart out there. What the hell are you doing down there, man? It's in the middle of nowhere. I, I just, uh... Uh, my manager, um, his girlfriend's parents are all rich and shit, and they were like, they have a, a nice-ass place out there, and they're in Michigan right now, so you go there for like two or three days and chill, because, <laughs> dude, I had to get away from L.A., man. That place is a fucking rager every single night, and, like, my liver was just not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Swollen liver. I just got over a weekend rager with Novak. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Oh, my ever. God. Like... Who is the moron who decided to bring Novak to the Make-A-Wish Foundation? And have him be the dude in charge, like the head guy. It was fucking terrible. Oh. If you don't believe me, <laughs> just call Tim O'Connor, man. <laughs> it was the like, worst like, skate demo appearance we ever did, and all the money got stolen from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, we got oh, robbed. Man. Did, did Novak even skate? <laughs> what? Dude, they didn't no, steal it. They just lost it. He didn't even it. skate. The, the story in itself, you couldn't even do it in this whole show, man. It was insane, but the they way stole nothing the money? worked out. Dude, we stayed in a Motel 6. <laughs> did did Novak even life. skate the demo? Nope. Not once? Yeah, man, I'm hurting. Yeah, man. Dude, he might have done, like, <laughs> one trick, but that was it. Omar and fucking uh, Connor skated their ass off, so. God, what a piece of work. Dude, those guys are fucking cool shit, man. I mean, we were having fun. I was having fun with Novak, too, but it got it got out of hand. You got to call O'Connor to find out. What Dude, no Novak called up Oz, and then he, he Oz was supposed <laughs> to pick him up at the Philly airport, and this dude was waiting for him at the house, and he never called anybody. For, like, two days, I find out that he's with fucking Mandy in Baltimore. So I'm like, all right, I'm making up a new rule. Every time you go see Mandy, then that's two weeks that have to go by with you living at her house. At the time out. Filming, even if we're filming Jackass, even if you have a plane ticket to California, they're all getting canceled, and you have to stay with her for two weeks. Yeah, he <laughs> told me it was a rage route in Cali. I was pissed I couldn't go. Yeah, it's... It, it's fucking crazy out here right now. Like, we, we've been filming Jackass nonstop <laughs> every night. Like, I don't know how this happened, but I wound up, like, really good friends with Paris Latsis. You know that dude? No. That Greek billionaire kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're uh, talking about. So Paris. I, I've been Paris him every night. And, um, Is that her boyfriend or her, her husband or ex-boyfriend? Or, yeah. Or fiance or whatever. But, yeah. Now she's with that Stavros dude because he has like 11 more billion than Paris does. <laughs> dude, that's a lot of fucking money, man. Like, if you're talking about billions, who the F gives a fuck? <laughs> like, I'll take a point, half. Dude, you, could, you could already like buy a Lamborghini and then wipe your ass with it and then throw it off of a bridge. Like, oh, and, and then you could write that off. Like... <laughs> You could build like an dollars. Like you could do whatever you want. What would you do with it? Me? Yeah. yeah. I'd buy a fucking. I'd buy a Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has the money. Point, at that point, if you have a billion dollars, it's like, well, what do you want? Oh Christ! Just give me a Hyundai. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> a reliable vehicle. Remember, Vito said like buy, <laughs> even buy like eight Chevys <laughs> or something. He's like, man. You bought a Ferrari? Are you an idiot? You could have got 10 Chevrolets in a boat for the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I would have won 10 Chevrolets, and why in the fuck would I want a boat? I live in Westchester. Like, what am I going to put it in? Westtown Lake? He fell in love with boats <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale. The Vito loves boats brandy now. Wine. When a brandy wine gets overflow, you can put it in there. <laughs> I already have those kayaks. Dude, Deco, you got to go kayaking down the brandy wine during a rainstorm. It's so fucking fun. You I got two kayaks. That? You did that? 
Yeah, I, I bought all these kayaks. I bought a big trailer for the Hummer, and, and there's like five kayaks just on it at all times. But that, did, did anyone go in a rainstorm? It's fucking no. uh, well, well, it was when it was when the weather was nice. We ah uh, yeah. When well, we were doing Viva La Bam out here, he uh, Pete Pete Babington got a kayak. Cause I told him that you could go down there to Brandywine, and he got a kayak and was like going down every time we got done. Oh, he he, always, he did it every time we wrapped up. Yeah, he would always go down. He was like, it's awesome when it uh, after like a good rain, yeah, good you know, because it's hard. And he good. said there's one area where it like gets a little bit of rapids, so he would go down that, take it out, walk back. You know, like quarter mile, and then go down again. Yeah, dude, we, we, I'm telling you, man, we gotta. As soon as there's a rainstorm, we all just have to hop in kayaks and just barge it because y- you won't get hurt. It's just fucking fun to sip on beer and go down a fast current. We can if, race all the way to Newark. If you see, have you seen Mike Haynes' kayak, dude? No. Why does he have a good one? Well, it's like it's like as long as like your swimming pool. It's like Fitz <laughs> Mike, right? And also he has a trolling motor, so he can troll. Like, See, it's like a slow-moving motor. I he has motor four fishing mine. rods mounted on the side. And between <laughs> his legs, he has that thing that like shows you where the fish are underneath you. That little screen. It's ridiculous, oh, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> a one-man fish finding kayak. <laughs> it's a, yeah, I just I bought the regular fuck. ones. I bought like five of the two hundred fifty-dollar ones. You know. Yeah, I, I got two of them. They're they're sweet though. They work. He didn't get the Hummer kayak, kayak yet. The kayak, as long as it's fucking <laughs> float, that's all I care about. Like, yeah, seriously. Put a radio. In it. Kayak get like I, you know, Mike, I guess <laughs> Mike knows. Dude, you got you got to pimp it out, put like a radio in it with a Bose sound system in the back, <laughs> so you can be thumping down the river. I have so met? much fun going down the Brandywine that I'm seriously like, if I have three days off, I'll be willing to like drive to West Virginia to go down those crazy rapids. You know? Yeah, fuck it, I'll go, man. Once it gets warm, we should bust it. <laughs> I'm kind of crack <laughs> wide open. <laughs> We're gonna fill with water and be singing, <laughs> deliverance style. Yeah. Wee. If I had a billion dollars, I would come to your house, Bam, and get you to give me permission. I would dig a tunnel system and fill it uh, like an aquarium so you could swim through these <laughs> underground tunnels, kind of like Jaws 3, but <laughs> there would be all fish you could swim through, and then that's how you get to the Hobbit hole. Yeah, that would be the worst awesome. feeling in the world. You're swimming in the dark underwater. <laughs> yeah. But it would be all lighted, and there would be arcade games on the side that you c- couldn't play, but you could see them. <laughs> you could so it would get, always give you that urge to oh so play video games. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I discovered it, an incredible place. Um, it's like uh, 45, 1960, 70s uh, pinball games. You know where it is, too, B. I don't know if you want to give away the location. No, no, because what, what, I love wait, it. Wait, what is it again? You know it, where it is. Dude, I'll it's tell this you arcade filled with like 1960s and 70s pinball games. And, and you and know where they are? Exactly. I, I know, but I'm not, I'll tell you yeah, later. Late after the show. It's a nice little secret spot. It's, Brandon's fishing hole. Yeah, I've been going on the weekends. It's awesome. You can put two dimes in, the, two nickels in the machine to play a pinball game. I was like, i got to put two nickels in. I've never done that to uh, Yeah, that's old school. That's it's awesome, that. though, yeah. Did you power out the rest of those wraps yet with Shipbird? <laughs> no, but uh, Bam. this is like the first time I've talked to uh, Mr. Bird Dude, in I a while. At, I looked at the recording yeah. studio. You guys have so many fucking songs recorded that you have multiple recording like you have multiple 16 tracks it's yeah. almost like another blackberry <laughs> <laughs> like he just filled one and got another one i thought you have like two iPod. songs recorded yeah aren't we going to move the uh studio down to the hobbit hole so we can uh have bands and stuff um is that the I, word I, I would like to do that is, uh, that's a tom rock question is it going to be a mission to do that what about you tom Dude, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I caught him here. He's busy, man. Dude, he was here blowing off the job. If you see Will fucking tell him that, dude, he was definitely Tom Rock, blowing it off. you think it's off. a good decision to move the whole thing down to the Hobbit Hole? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be cool for live bands. Yeah, would. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be fucking enough, awesome. For all the music equipment uh, there's lady. enough fucking room. Yeah, they'd be tight, but fuck it. It'd be funny. You could get it in there. It'd be awesome. all smashed together trying to... Pull a song off. I don't know about you, but I don't want to walk down there and back there and back there and back the whole time. Yeah, no, just true. set it up down there. You can have live music. It'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. Why don't It'll we work. fucking kick, knock out half of the wall where the studio is and add on another 10 feet? There you if go. If you do that, my uh, my Road Blasters arcade machine in the attic may fall through the floor, <laughs> which would be awesome. It'll drop right down. We can start playing. It could Why make don't we little... have the radio room upstairs? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's yeah. even less room up there. In Come the on, Shipper, you can get on it. You got plenty of time, right? <laughs> it's cold up there. Consider it done. It's done. Is, it, is that still Fan is drug den, or did you not come over anymore? No, yeah, no. There's just now, like Fan is a rock star now. There's still man. just old playboys up there. That I just are, like, saw him. Weathered and 
You just saw Hannah? Oh, I saw him on... Uh, the CKY shows, man. I saw. I went to the CKY show that was in um, Lancaster. Lancaster. I went to the Lancaster one. I, I went to the Philly it. one. Was it a Rager? I had a blast. Yeah, it was nice. Those kind of like smaller venues are always awesome. I don't know what it is about Did the people. Venomous? No, I got there like two songs into CKY. Oh, we, we, we thought it was like by the outlets by Dutch Wonderland, and I was like, oh, it's like 40 minutes past that. Fucking like Dutch Wonderland. Is so Dutch, I, I think we should go to Dutch Wonderland because I've never went in, and I never went in the House of Lights, and that place left, and I walk by it every day. So I think we should go to Dutch Wonderland no, just, just to go inside. Shipper, do you have those new songs with, with the Amish song on it, like on a CD? Uh, yeah, I got it on CD. Yeah, I busted, dude. Like right now, though? I could run down during the show and throw the what you're talking about on. Do it now. Yeah, yeah um, l at the end of the show, let's play that Amish freestyle that, that uh, Deco did. That's fucking hilarious. What is it? Okay, it's, it's um. It's like when you're just like, stuff, stuff, stuff those logs in the hole. Stuff, 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 stuff it down the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. The, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what it is. It's what? so funny. I'm dying to hear it because I don't What's have Amish music. about it? <laughs> Wait, what's Amish? Because you're talking about how, how the Amish always. <laughs> Clog up all the traffic on Route 30 because they're pushing <laughs> buggies and you're so pissed about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Pie, 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 they're die. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, I, yeah, okay. I'd like to hear that, too. As soon as we go to a song. Shipper, yeah. I'm going to play a song right now and then you rush down to the hollow hole and, and grab that disc. All right. Shit, I, you can play anything off that disc, really. Like, they're all fucking great. Yeah, here's right, a beer, man. Run yo, bam. I'll check it. Listen, listen to this new machine I got. Listen to the song it makes. It's just two seconds. Listen. All right. e everyone listen to this. That's that is that sweet music to your ears? Alright, Sam, she's up playing voice voice and it's on spot. Radio Bam series twenty one. Yeah, what's up everyone? I didn't know you were recording this shit. I had no clue. It's on, it's on the radio channel now. No. Yeah. Fucking kidding me. Can't say that. I'm sorry. Serious twenty eight faction. Dude, wasn't that Moist Boy song so good? It's yeah, it's good. Man. I didn't think I heard them before. I'm chewing on my sneaker, because I am the tweaker. <laughs> I was talking to him. The, dude, the Moist Boys, they opened for CKY, but I, I saw them uh, open up at the Earth. No, they, they were headlining at the Kyber, and, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's the guitar player from Ween, and then the singer is just this meth head from Trenton. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was so funny. I didn't know that. Like, ev the, everybody who's a fan of Moist Boys knows that the singer's a meth head, but... Um, I was telling the, the singer that uh, I was on antibiotics because I had that infected ass, so I couldn't even drink. And he's like, I know I can't drink either. I'm on antibiotics, too. It sucks. I'm like, well, did you, did you do anything else like on antibiotics? He's like, yeah, I just did some speed. I'm like, sweet, dude. <laughs> uh, that's got to suck, man. Your whole thing's being a meth head. That means you have to stay up for, like, all the time. You can't ever sleep. That would fucking <laughs> suck. I was just watching a, a special last night. Um Dude, A and E, that channel, they have so much good shit. Uh, yeah, they but, but they were having this uh, special. It was called um, "Meth, Murder, and Madness," and, and it was this whole story about uh, Cumberland, Indiana, and um, and this like little girl um, looked through a window, seeing like these dudes making meth in a meth lab, and, she, and uh, <laughs> the one guy saw the girl, and then they like kidnapped her. They didn't know what to do with her because they didn't want to tell her tell anybody, and then like they totally just pushed her in this frozen lake and then they all got caught and now they're all in jail and it was all because of meth but like it was fucking gnarly watching uh, it it's not because of meth it's because you pushed a little girl in a frozen lake and let her fucking die no but the whole reason was because she saw them in a, in a meth lab making meth and they didn't want to get caught so they they just like kidnapped her and they they didn't even know what to do with her because they're all hopped up on meth for four days Oh my that god. That sucks. And, it, and, and another, like, there's these two teenagers, um, a, a boy and a girl, and, um, they were tripping out so hard on meth for, like, they were on, like, a four day binge or whatever, and they called the cops saying that there was, like, um, all these Mexican gangs, like, fighting and da 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 da, and, um, and then th there was none of that. They were just totally <laughs> hallucinating, and the 911 call seemed so real that that was really going on, and then, when they found where the call was coming from, they like went down to the. Uh, they were in a pickup truck and they and they thought that they ran out of gas, but they had a full tank. And then they like walked through all the snow and then they just froze to death because they they were all hallucinating. 
Dude, that's what that shit, dude, that's what it does to you, man. Fuck that shit. It gives chemistry a bad name. <laughs> you, yeah, your your cat is sitting in the chair, like, now he's on the, uh, <laughs> uh, uh walking around the, the desktop thing, but he was sitting there like he's on the show. Yeah, but he's yeah. chilling. Uh, the black and white, is that trouble. mischief? That's trouble. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mischief is trying to get in one of your skate deck boxes. He's, like, rustling <laughs> around behind that old man thing in the corner. <laughs> yeah, they, they were saying that, like, you could you could totally just make meth if you just go to, like, Thrift Drug or Happy Harry's. You could just... What is it? Everyone in California, everyone I talked to, even when Sean Penn was here, like, I told him I'm a chemist, all he said was, like, Dude, they busted these meth labs in hotel rooms. I'm like, <laughs> all people from California now is like meth. That's like that's all they talk about all the time. You can make it out of a bunch of different stuff, and it's a pain so what, in the what, ass because exactly everything's it, illegal though? now. It's meth amphetamine. It's no, I know, but like, what, what do you have to mix? Like, do you have to like, like how no. do, do you? Know, you're the fucking chemist. How do you do it? Let's put serious off the air. Methylamine and phenyl two pro. Or wait, uh, phenyl two. Propanol, I think. And then what do you do with it? You just condense it to chemicals, then you crystallize it out. And that's all it is? Just two different things? It's the smallest fucking molecule. It's the biggest pussy thing to fucking synthesize. It's, <laughs> it's literally the smallest thing, like the smallest molecular weight, like one of the... It's just tiny, you know? The shit that we make now is way bigger than that. What, is, what does synthesize mean? Like, what, how, what do you... You do? take those two chemicals... A lot of songs were played on synthesizers. <laughs> like the Who started it, and then uh, after that, the Who took <laughs> methylamine, and they took phenyl to, I want to say propanol, but it's not. It's just, it's a condensation reaction. It's easy. Yeah, because I, I saw the whole kit on the special last night. It looks like a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it is a pain. And now they got to take fucking cough drops and shit like that and, like, melt them in a fucking stove, and then... Light it on something that might light your fucking hair on fire like Richard Pryor. It's just not even fucking worth why, it. Why in movies does it, like, when you ever see, like, drug guys in movies having that, it explodes. And it's always, like, it explodes the hell out of it. Because they try and make it by shady different ways. The fun what explodes, though? <laughs> and where oh, I've worked... big propane tank. No, there. sometimes metals, because they find shady ways to make it. One time, this one blew up. It's happened in California. And because they were using phosphorus or something like that... The way that the phosphorus that they were using when it blew up, first of all, it lit people on fire. So they ran out of the house screaming. But when the chemicals soaked into their body, not only did they die, but that they were so polluted from all the toxic metals, nothing could eat them. No bacteria or anything like that could rot them. Uh. So the corpses just stayed there in the fucking sun, not even decomposed at all. Oh, man. Because not even any living shit could eat all those heavy metals. Everything fucking died. Yo, did and, any did any guys see the movie The Salt and Sea? <laughs> I've been to The Salt and Sea. No, Babe Ruth I'm, was The I'm Salt like and Sea. I'm a away about it, but I heard it's all about meth and shit. I want, I want to watch the movie tonight and then drive to The Salt and Sea. Yeah, bam, drive to The Salt and Sea. I've been there. And tell us how it is because you're going to Have you seen laugh. Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> yeah, and I actually saw... <laughs> I act, no, I, I didn't see the movie, but I actually saw Heath Ledger uh, <laughs> dancing at this place called Teddy's all hopped up, dude. He was dancing so crazy, man. <laughs> You didn't see the movie, though? It was so broke back. Dude, he was all wasted, all dancing at this place called Teddy's. And it was, oh, dude, he was doing the gayest, fruitiest moves. Dude, how bad would you be every time you go try and dance over they just put on that fucking theme song on the dance floor and you're humiliated and you have to fucking walk out? God. It's a broke back mountain song. Oh, God, is that I Can't Quit You? It's like, near and then is that like acoustic jam? I don't know. Dude. New York have it because I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Tell him to put on a back Mountain team, please. New York can. play Brokeback Mountain. Dude, dude, <laughs> you're going to piss your pants off. Brokeback Mountain over dude. there. <laughs> dude, they know that they know what I'm fucking talking about. They played it during the awards. They play It's always a Brokeback fucking Mountain theme. That <laughs> I got to hear this. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, it's it's. I didn't see it, but it's all gone except for one one of the Ritzes. Maybe the Ritz Five has it. So what I about Chipper? Is he is he back yet? I'm back. Yeah, we hear you. You got the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got, just it. got back. I put uh. You know I what put, track it is? Yeah, it's the Amish metal song, and uh, I put Country Bumpkins on there too. Well, well, what? well, let's hear the Amish one. What track is it? Track one or two? Uh, there's a. Can we check it first? <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> we went out there. It doesn't even know. The <laughs> well, you never Matt. know what you get on this thing, man. It's like, good at me, dude. <laughs> just, see, just press play and see what happens. <laughs> dude, he doesn't even know. That's what I do. Here. Oh, God. 
We don't have time for both, so if Country Bumpkins goes <laughs> on, just skip to the next set. There you go. Is this oh, it? Yeah, this is it. This is Amish Metal. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's the one they want to play. Oh, here we okay. go. Okay. Play it, it up. up. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's hear this shit. This is Narkill. This is a new Narkill track, freestyled by Deco. I didn't even hear it. Sarah 28. Oh, fuck. My horse and buggy drive. No, it don't. It rides down the road. 30. Yes. It's dirty because the shit from a cow in my field that I can't clean up. Whether you want or won't ever yield, it makes all your fucking roadways scream. Think you are me? I don't do nothing with electricity. Do you think? Yeah. Ask me why you won't try or build the Amish. No electric to fly by. I'd rather die. Coming to our bathroom where the toilet don't flush. He is a man in there with a toilet brush. Stop, stop, stop those logs in the hole. The dragon will burn and breathe a dream when you have a night. <laughs> Yo, when the fuck is that coming out? I don't know. When May we... uh, 8th? When are, we May... putting, when are we putting this ass out? May, I think May 8th. May 8th. We got to call it. Jessel Toll, if you're listening, man, call in and say. <laughs> he, he put a date up on uh, Amazon when it comes out. But, but we pushed it back like twice so we could give it like, you know, you good can, artwork. You just have to power out those uh, those last three songs that we made. And then I think we have a fucking perfect album for Dude, you guys have Yeah, because mad. we had other songs first and then uh, it would just be better to put those newer ones on. Do you have many? Throw them right on and fucking do it. And the underwear one and stuff. Are you gonna, are you gonna put, put, um, I just wanna fuck with a piece of toilet paper hanging out of my ass shit? Yeah. yeah, I told I Matt, I was like, doesn't Matt Cole write the best lyrics dude, and music? Dude, I just heard that today. <laughs> the music so, is really good. It's good, dude. I, I like, I like it how you say, uh, a uh, piece of toilet paper hanging, hanging out of my ass, but you change it out of the crack of my ass. It was too much, I think. Yeah, so I just go up. No, it sounded pretty good, man. That music is fucking you good. Can, do you think you can re-sing it, or is it gonna be a pain in the ass? Oh, no, I mean, well... To do, I, I think was you doing, say out of, out of the crack of my ass like one time, like you just kind of freestyled that, but, but yeah, I, I thought think, it was funny I think that the hook to, should be just out of the crack of my ass. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I should go over it a couple out times. Out of my but, ass. Just out of my ass sounds better than out of the crack of my ass. And that other, yeah, yeah. That other song. <laughs> the crack of my ass is like it's too <laughs> serious. It, like he's really. I thought it was funny that you tried really to jam all that about. into a chorus, and it was kind of funny that I had to stumble <laughs> to get to it, and it's like. I like it. Yeah, I, I just want to fuck with Pete's Pete Stone, baby. Out of crack crack ass. Ass. Yeah. He's Change got the crack. sick of patient take, better. Take out crack and it'll be way better. Okay. I just want to fuck you with a piece of toilet paper hanging out of my ass. That's better. <laughs> yeah. It does flow better. That's it's true. better. I yeah. like the crack in the ass thing. Yeah, the I think crack you say crack it. once like you just... Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, the last verse. That's I'll a jam, good one. Jam it all in the crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the baseball song, Pigs, the baseball song. Was like a hidden track when they made the CD. Just like picture, you had to... picture tuning in right now if you're just some random person and l listening to what we were just talking. About. <laughs> now, <laughs> take take the crack out and put yeah, just yeah. Crack toilet. Out and, and fucking with a piece of toilet paper hanging out of your ass is way better. <laughs> <laughs> just so, people talking about. <laughs> just so everyone knows, these are real business decisions going on right now. I know. Now. The only <laughs> chance we get to talk. <laughs> <laughs> an album that'll probably sell more than 30,000 copies. <laughs> <laughs> It'll sell like 10. <laughs> uh, maybe 12 on a good week. She can sell 12 copies just in this fucking room right now. He's going back to change it now, like Matt. Uh, I, want, I can't wait to just hang out back there and... Rich Moose is living back there, so... <laughs> is he there now? Yeah, I told him to come the fuck up, and he got... Oh, my God, Richard Moose! He Vos. wasn't fucking here. He got... Oh, wait, he got... Yeah, yeah, hasn't Vose been living at my house? Yeah, he's just been hanging, man, because uh, he got fired to go on CKY tour. Why did he get fired? He just went to go up there to tech for him, and he had to call out Friday. And he got fired. And they were like, that's it. You're not allowed to call out three times in a month. Oh, yeah. And it was like... Oh, uh, that sucks. Yeah. So, but, uh, I, I that's kind of the way it goes, though, because if, if you do it three times and then they keep putting up with it, then you're just going to keep doing it. So you got yeah. to draw the line somewhere, you know? Shit, for you know, it's years cool to have Vos on the tour, but, like, if you're going to keep calling out all the time, like... 
Yeah. Fuck it, man. We got to get somebody else, you know. Yeah. But Bam, it worked out pretty good because he's playing keyboards now, and there's a lot more. Uh, was he really playing keyboards? Yeah. I was. Looking he sits back for in front of house, and he's in front of house, and he played keyboards, and it sounded exactly like the fucking album. Dude, me and Evil so Jared good at the were piano. sitting there. Looking oh for wait, he's doing CKY songs now. Yeah, keyboards. Is, uh, he's that's doing a the better stuff. gig than being on the fucking road. That, yeah. yeah, that's that's why he's like, fuck it, I'm not going back. I'll just. <sighs> I'll play keyboards, and it sounds great. It's huge, man. Down Did to TLA, it was him? huge. Yeah, everyone said he was down there. Me and Evil Jared were looking so fucking hard. He was at the Yeah, I, when I went to Lancaster, I, he walked in the back when the show was over for, like, literally, I was like, yo, Richard, are you going to play the piano and all that? Gone. He was already gone. That's all I saw. He's got to <laughs> be out there, dude. He's, good. He's like, got the best stage for a second because it's not fucking fake. Well, they did front of house on him, so he was back where, you know, Jared was from, uh, from Guar, the guy who does sound for Guar. So he's back there with Jared. Or, oh, really? Not Jared, fucking Jeremy from Guar. Yeah. And uh, he was playing during the part. They just put him in, in the whole system. So oh, that's awesome. He knew his parts. He's and he, he played a, uh, frenetic. He's got to be in wah, the back, wah, man. Wah, 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 you wah, could hear it. Oh, there. is that how it goes, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what about, uh, you might be pitching. You, you might be catching. catching. What, what if, if baseballs has AIDS? I love what he says. Ha what if baseballs has AIDS? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, th the thing is, we we gotta leave some songs that we don't play on on serious radio because we gotta leave some fans oh, yeah. wondering what how good the other ones are, you know. So we'll, we'll, we'll just keep playing like three out of the album, and then there'll be like fifteen tracks. Or uh, a total of fifteen tracks for everybody else to hear. So hell yeah, we got so mulch. We got Bye. mulch on there. <laughs> Goddamn motherfucking mulch. The what? So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play a song and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna play Missing Persons. It's called Walking in L.A. It's a it's more of an '80s type shit, but I've been listening to it because it's the only thing in the jukebox that I like at the 101 cafe. We're doing so, right now. Let's hear it. This is Radio Bamfer 28 Pack. That's what we found in Don Vito's ass. This is Radio Bam, baby. On Faction 28. You like that shit, man? I love mm. that. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was like the 80s. You like that 80s ass shit, man? Dude, don't even say that. <laughs> don't even fucking say that. I had enough of him for one weekend. It lasted like a year. But Number this one. song was so incredible. It went like... <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Stinks like <laughs> shit, man. Can't pull. give it all to Kmart's toilet. Johnny Knoxville just wrote me a, a text saying, um, yo, what are you doing? You want to chill or whatever? I was like, no, I'm, uh, I'm in Palm <laughs> Springs right now relaxing. And he's just like, Palm Springs makes Key West look straight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you guys left from that movie, I was like, thank the fucking Lord. I don't know how you can do it for that many weeks. Where's Palm Springs? It's uh, it's in the desert. It's in between Vegas and L.A., like in the middle, like right in the desert. But, uh, dude, there's like a, a serious gay, like, uh, like a little mini San Francisco section over here. <laughs> so it's like Brokeback Valley, dude. It's rich. Brokeback it's like Valley. <laughs> Brokeback rich ass Valley. <laughs> Brokeback Plateau. <laughs> it's like a little, a little, little Rehoboth or something. Like that. There's definite Brokeback action going on over here. <laughs> God, I wish I had that fucking Brokeback Tundra. <laughs> oh man, yo, uh, we, I don't want to give away too many uh, jackass things we've been filming for the new movie, but uh, we were at this golf course and um, <laughs> I drove a, a ball right out of Dunn's ass. And oh then, my uh, God! And um, well, well, first of all, there's there's a uh, another TV um, crew there filming uh, like some other show, like a limit date or something. And they're just having like a casual like you know day, going out on a date, filming like golf and stuff. Then the second production crew, which is us, just shows up. I I drive a fucking ball right out of Dunn's ass, and then some random dude drives a ball off of my dick, dude. And no, I, ain't fucking. I, I was spread eagle, and the ball whipped right past my nose, like an inch away. Was, oh. I'll never ever do that again. Dude, and you're fucking crazy. They hit your dick. You're that's over. Uh, that's dude, I, I thought about that, dude. and I was like, dude, the last thing I want is people being like, dude, the first Jericho's movie is better. Like, it's already better than the. It's movie. already better. I'll tell you that. Like, just you gotta from, one up week. that shit. You know what I mean? You can't. You can't just like put out a second jackass and expect it to like be even or a little bit less. Like it has to be a thousand times better than the first one. I'm yeah. glad you're fucking. I'm glad you're out there. Come back and don't bring those guys with you because we'll fucking die. I ain't making no half-ass shit.
<laughs> yeah, the shit I saw was Yo, funny as hell, man. Do you remember uh, when we went to the Three Mile Island thing for Viva yeah. La Bam, and that, and you, you threw a, somebody threw a can of beans on the on the campfire, and it exploded. Uh, and yeah, when we was... slowed down the tape, it like the thing went like like three four inches right across like your it almost, like temple. You it, remember that? No, it almost. Yeah. Hit. It almost hit. The funny part was it came so close to hitting the one cameraman. We're friends with Jacob, but he's a Jewish guy. And of all the people who would never eat pork and beans or to get blasted by a pork Dude, and beans that missile. Thing, like somebody made the poor decision to throw <laughs> a can of beans in the fire to see what happens. Ten minutes goes by. Everybody forgets about it. <laughs> then it just explodes so loud like a fucking bomb. And the metal can whizzed past my head like two feet away. Yeah, the main dude of the show, there's like a... You would have turned in the Kano from Mortal Kombat. You would have had, like, a metal lid around your face. Like, it was the main dude face. and the Jewish Kano. cameraman who Kano. almost got crushed by a fucking pork and beans bomb. <laughs> Kano. Kano wins. Yeah. Kano Kalen. <laughs> Kano Kalen. <laughs> so he's down in Baltimore? <laughs> if he was in Mortal Kombat, I would love it. Oh, oh, God. Yo, do, do you know who John Waters is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I, I uh, he, he made a cameo in the Jackass movie, but dude, oh, he yes. in Baltimore, he, he was loves- so fucking cool, man. Like, he, he, he said that he just, like, he likes to go to the shitty Baltimore bars where all the scumbags hang out, and he just listens to them talk and what they have to say, and, like, he said that he was at a grocery store, and some mom had, like, this cute little, like, four-year-old girl, and she was just such a bitch to her daughter. She was like, get over here, shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> the way he would say it was so funny. Just like, uh, like uh, he would come up with all kinds of just funny things that people would say. And he was like, whenever we use random people for, like, the movies that I do, anytime I ever say, okay, you are so mad at this guy. Like, as soon as I yell action, I want you to yell every cuss word in the book because you <laughs> want this guy to die. Like, you hate him. And action. Every He said that everybody, the first thing they would say is, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they can come up with if they really hate somebody. Yeah, I know. They can't come up with any other cuss word. Yeah, shit ass. <laughs> you <laughs> asshole. I hate you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only time I talked to Knoxville in between the Jackass movie and now was he called me at work one time and was like, dude, I'm in Baltimore filming this John Waters movie. You guys got to come down here. You'll love it. Yeah, I didn't see that yet, but I want to see that. What band, yeah. that, that movie. Uh, it's called a, a Dirty Shame. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. really think that you'll love it. Like, it, Dude, John Waters is so tweaked in the head. Like, He's, he's like ragingly gay. but He's it's fucking hilarious, man. Yeah, he, he really is. Like, his sense of humor is, like, right up my alley. Oh, my God. It's so and, fucking and, funny. Yeah, I, I recommend renting Dirty Shame and checking that shit out, because you'll definitely laugh a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah, what, what he he was on, like, Carson Daly uh, a John couple Waters? months. Yeah, it was, like, maybe right before Christmas, but I never, like, saw him in, like, a, like you know, on a show like that. And, and, dude, he was so funny. The stories he was telling, I was just like, oh, my dude, God. Dude, his stories are hilarious. He was saying, talking about being in the, some, like, bar where, like, anything could happen, some bar that doesn't exist anymore in New York. And he's like, and some, like, creep would just come up by and, like, rub on your leg. And you'd be like, shoot, get away from me. And then, but then you'd have a good time. <laughs> like, it was so funny, the shit he said. <laughs> just like, yeah. if you're that smart and you're rich and famous and awesome what you do, but you choose to live in fucking scumbag Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> and like hang out of places like that. It's they got so Camden Yards. Running. It's beautiful. That's Dude, where he's getting all his <laughs> fingers. John Waters found that like, creepy transvestite to just eat shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the transvestite just like shits on her hand and then just starts chewing on it. <laughs> so the gross. best. Like, and it, and you could tell it's real. Like, there, it's not fake at all. Like oh, that man. bitch was that tweet. Ooh, log cabin. So, uh, wait, did you know that the uh, the singer of 69 Eyes is a chemist also? Nuh-uh. Yeah. No fucking way. That's Dude, why that's I wish you guys, I wish I would have fucking said something because I thought you knew already. And then... No, say next time they're around, fuck it. We're, we're, we're talking. Yeah, it's real <laughs> we'll have a meeting. A full-blown chemist in Finland. Oh, no fucking way. That's fucking awesome, man. Huh. You yeah. should have him call in the show sometime. So that's his job, be- like, aside for the bad? Yeah, yeah, like when when he's not touring exactly. with 69 Eyes, he's he's back in the lab being a fucking camera. Oh, that's funny as shit. You got to have him call in if you can. It'd be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be yeah, awesome. I think he's in L.A. still, actually, but uh, I'm not there, so we're pretty, <laughs> much, we're pretty much effed on this show. <laughs> Thank God he got away from L.A., man. That's, that's fucking awesome. 
As a matter of fact, speaking of 69 Eyes, let's hear some of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's hear uh, Christina Death uh, okay. from the new album, Devils. And, uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite song off the album, but they just did their American tour, and uh, every one of them was pretty much sold out. And, it, oh, man, the, the, the last show at the Whiskey in L.A. was so good. And then they did Carson Daly, which is coming on. Yo, when is that coming on? Friday night? Uh, oh, all right. So 69, and I also go on Carson, too, talking a bunch of schmack, so let's hear it. When do you go on? Um, Friday night it'll be on. Okay, cool. I already We're... did it, though. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hi-Fi Kids. Strap <laughs> <You're here. laughs> yourselves in and lace radio up your shoes, because you're listening to Radio Band. Of Sirius 28 Faction. High fly ball, deep center field. This one's out of here. Juan Samuel, well, two run home run. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know we were on. <laughs> so, uh, so we God got Zeke Mello, Raytheon, and Uncle Matt and the Shipbirds in Pennsylvania, and here I am in the desert in Palm Springs. Dude, we're raising <laughs> at your house. This is a great time. We got a case of beer, fucking up a party in the back room. You can't sleep on the chair. Dude, you got to come I, back, I man. I seriously ri wish I had, like, two bodies so I could be at one, like, I could be over there now, and then I could also be here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, him's flying in in L.A. on on the first, and I totally want to stick around and hang out with him because I haven't seen him in like two months. But I'm so fucking sick of being in L.A. filming. Like, I, I'm just dreading being in L.A. But you know, powering out two more days to see Villa might be worth it. But I think I'm gonna wind up going home because uh, we're filming more Jackass in like Texas and stuff. So oh. I'd rather go home for three days rather than going straight from L.A. to Texas, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of hot girls in Texas, I'll tell you that. Uh, Lord Bataro saw your uh, your right guard commercial. Oh, yeah? Is it out? I didn't see it, but he said there's something to do with rollerblades, so is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. he say it was funny? Yeah, but he was just, like, going out the door. He's like, oh, yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, what is it? He was like, y you'll see it. He's like, just rollerblades. Uh, uh, he, he was laughing what about it. What was he watching? Like, ESPN? No, he don't watch ESPN. He, was, he <laughs> yeah. would have been watching like Bravo or like uh, or whatever Survivor's a &E. on. You know? a &E, yeah. Bravo. Yeah, he likes that <laughs> cooking shows. Like, there's a cooking show. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's like a Survivor network. Top Chef. He watches and he watches. He, he used to like Survivor. He top Chef. Yeah, he yeah. loves it. Top. He loves it. Yeah, yeah, there's one guy we're rooting for on there. We mutually agreed. He made me watch it, so now we're rooting for this one guy, Miguel Morales. He was awesome. He, got, he has like a hundred different recipes for Top Ramen, right? Yeah, there's a guy that looks like Chicken, Kavanaugh on there. So shrimp. bad. Fish. <laughs> Dude, you got to get back out here, man. We're fucking raging at your house. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, when the fuck am I coming back? I'll be back on like the uh, either the first or the second. So cool. when's that? that? A, well, that's April. So is that an April Fool's joke? That's, Pre that's, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> when are you really coming back? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a fake laugh you gave me. <laughs> uh, April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bam, are you doing the uh, gumball rally? Yeah, they're actually, uh, oh my is, God. isn't my Lamborghini getting shipped over to London right now? Yeah, I just took it up there. <laughs> he took it up to London for you. Hell of a drive. I don't really, I don't really trust, like, these, like, if they put the fucking car on a boat, that means that somebody has to start it up and drive it to, like, a, a God, like... That dude, shit's dude, getting sold there, to the Russian There was so Russian many cars in, so there was play. so many cars in that garage worth so much fucking money. There was, like, seriously, million-dollar cars in there. This oh. guy ships million-dollar cars yeah. all the time. Oh. He, he shipped he shipped a, uh, what's it called, uh, a Rolls-Royce. Yeah. $40 million car he shipped. Wow. $40 million for a fucking Rolls-Royce, like a no. great ghost, they call it. Yeah. No, there's now no they, way. Yo, you have to realize, these people, it's like that Greek guy you were hanging out with. They got billions. Yeah, dude. Buh. Billion. There, there was <laughs> all, there was a the ZR uh, what is it ZR6 Corvette RX7 you mean? No ZR6. It's a Corvette. <laughs> it's fucking. There was some top end cars. There was a car there from Chicago called like a Crit, and it actually has a schwa sticker on the front. No, it doesn't. Ni yeah, it's, a, it's 1918. <laughs> it's a screwdriver mobile. 1918 Crit. Is it like a? Is it like a? German, like, Nazi mobile? It, it's got the Nazi thing <laughs> okay. on the front. That was okay. their symbol, like the BMW's no, 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 got no, the no. airplane. Listen. Propeller. 1918, right? 
Yeah. That would have been the first. When was the first? I could model take. TV? I could take you right down to a pl- right from where I just came from. Oh my where god. Where I just shipped Bam's fucking Which Lamborghini. Is apparently, London. And it's sitting. <laughs> and, well, I don't know where they shipped it to, but <laughs> <laughs> you gave shipbird your lamb out. No, I, I shipbird took it on up to London for you, yeah. Bam. No, hey, okay. Ryan, yeah, Ryan G was watching over me. We, oh yeah, that's a great that combination. Helped. Now we got it up there, no problem. And the guy was real cool, and he showed us all the fucking vintage military shit. Like, seriously, they have tanks in there from. They're worth so much money. Like, <laughs> dude, it's crazy. This guy ships all kinds of shit, man. Well, you know, like, uh, what was another one. There's a whole bunch of fucking cars. Well, uh, good luck. Ah, uh, like a man. Ford, they, like they a had, Ford Probe. No, you know, you know the monkey's car. Did you ever see the monkeys? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got one. He's got the original one sitting right no, there. No done. way. Oh, yes, he does. Vose. Oh my God, Richard Vose. Richard Vose is welcome, Richard Vose, tickler of ivory. <laughs> ivory Rich, tickler. Uh, if you don't know Rich Vose, you probably won't because he'll be arguing with chairs most of his life. But he is an incredible musician. He Rich gets play- all drunk off of whiskey and then wrestles chairs for everyone. <laughs> uh-huh. But first he yells at them. <laughs> he has a full argument before he fights them. <laughs> Man, we got so shit tossed that night. That was the worst. Yeah. That was the worst night I've had in a long time. Just, oh my God. Go, Rich Vose. DJ. Yo, yo. Yeah. You know what my new nickname for Missy is? What is it? It's, say it. Dupe. <laughs> Dupe. Dupe. You know what that's short for? DuPont. <laughs> you know the DuPonts? Oh, all yeah. Free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time I wind up drunk, I just start talking about nonsense. She's like, I'm changing your name to DuPont. I'm just going to call you Duke for now. <laughs> but how does that add up with, like, nonsense talk? It's just nothing? What, yeah, you talking now. nonsense? Yeah, like, how does the, the DuPont name come into it? The du- because the DuPonts are all fucking nuts. They, like, shoot their fucking home. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay. That dude who was a wrestler, he fucking... Yeah. Insane asylum, then they start up a tank and start wrecking all the, this whole state of Delaware. And then they go to the DuPont <laughs> Mental Asylum, and they're all fucking crazy because they're incest, and they want to keep the money in the families, and they just fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> they hunt deer from a Man helicopter and just assassinate the whole what? herd. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing DuPonts ever did, Rake? You probably know this. Well, that one like, guy. They, they made all for? these chemicals. Dude, they make, like, Xanax. No, no, no. What they started was <laughs> they made gunpowder. Gunpowder. That's That's, at the falls. Then they did all kinds of other chemical stuff. And then... L- well, Larry Dupont lived right up the street from me, but one of the other relatives used to just hunt deer with a fucking machine gun in a helicopter. <laughs> they would lower to a fucking herd of deer. He just shot them all, and then the helicopter <laughs> flew away. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, it's uh, and they also made sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that wasn't real. Nah, that's, that's real, man. Worse. So, Rich Vos, how you like playing uh, keyboards for CKY, dude? It sucks. Oh, man. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> Say it. It's so, Richard. I'm playing. Come on. Richard. Dude, on stage, you gotta get you gotta get more towards the stage. I couldn't oh, even fucking me? see you. Nah, dude, I don't want to be on stage. No, you gotta get Listen on stage. Listen to me. Stage. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen any keyboard player on stage? Look yes, cool? Dio. Yeah, actually, Dio. No, the keyboard Fuck. player from yeah. him, Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> Fuck that man. I saw him at the. They would open it up for freaking. The uh, keyboard player from him. I, I mean, actually saw that guy. I didn't know they had a keyboard player, and he looks like Van Damme. To me. Uh, so yeah, so I was like, that guy's cool. He looks like Van Damme, and he plays the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he, like, does he do the split between like two keyboards? Oh, or like, anything like I that? You gotta have your you. collar up. Like, <laughs> I did a splits with no problem. Dude, dickheads, it, it, it's time to go. We gotta oh, say man. bye. Oh. It is. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna end it with uh with um the Clash, London Calling. Oh, all right. And yeah. uh, and, and then I'm gonna follow it by uh, the sounds living in America. So um. Let's listen to these shits, and uh, I'm going to go have a beer in the desert. So uh, I'll talk to you guys on April 1st. April Fool's, April 1st. <laughs> uh-huh. put, 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 put the April Hobbit Fool. hole. Put, put the studio down in the Hobbit hole so we can have Rich Vose, like play a, a lounge <laughs> gig with the lights dim that he can play the piano. We can yeah. Sing it. yeah, we'll sort something out. I'll All right. Back. Yo, get back, man. All right, All right come back soon. Right. See you guys. Later. All right. Ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> That's Radio Band for this week. We're done. Tune in next week for more. Every Monday. You can leave now. It's Radio Band. Radio Band every Monday. Radio Band every Monday, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Email me now at Radio Band. Why don't you uh, take a picture of your sweet white ass and send it on over to Radio Band at Sirius-Radio.com. Call Radio Band at 877-PORNBAG. That's 877-PORNBAG. Sweet dreams, peepod. Bye, everybody. See you next week. On Sirius 28 Faction. Later. 
Action, providing you with the very best in completely unlistenable bullshit 24 hours a day.